At only 17 years old, Johan Jojo Ghazali has established himself as the scariest prospect in one championship's Muay Thai scene, thanks to his earth-shattering knockout power and terrifying forward pressure and aggression. The Malaysian-American wonder kid has already decimated five extremely tough opponents in one. But does he stand a chance against the elites of the sport? Before Jojo Ghazali steps inside the ring for another battle of will and skill, let's recap his young career and understand just how devastating he is with those gloves on. Born and raised in Malaysia, Ghazali's roots intertwine with a unique blend of cultures, with an American mother and a Southeast Asian father who has Malay, Indonesian, and Japanese blood, and the love for combat running through his veins. Growing up in Malaysia, Ghazali had a seemingly ordinary life, yet the spirit of Muay Thai always lingered in the air. While both of his parents were accomplished in the sport, they never imposed it on their children. But since fighting runs in the blood, there was always a subtle undercurrent in the household, and Jojo caught the Mai Tai bug as he grew older. Upon moving to Sarawak in Malaysia, the family of warriors reignited their connection with the art of eight limbs when Jojo and his mother ended up in a local gym while strolling around the streets of their new home. With spare time and some self-esteem issues in tow, the youngster accepted the invitation, marking the beginning of a journey that he never turned back from. Despite early success in Malaysia, Ghazali faced a ton of challenges, losing his first five Muay Thai fights when he ventured across the border to compete in Thailand. But with each loss, his hunger for victory grew stronger, and one step at a time, the teenager came into his own. By 2020, Ghazali had more than 50 fights under his belt, and he had built a reputation as a tiny ball of fury who unleashed venom on anyone and everyone he fought inside the ring. Against Sansuk in 2020, a 13-year-old Ghazali put his punching power on display for as long as the battle lasted. Right off the bat, Ghazali fed Sansuk a buffet of punches, kicks, and knees and kept him on the ropes. With each passing minute, the young Muay Thai sensation upped the ante beating his opponent from pillar to post with no mercy. The finish came late in the second round when Ghazali cornered his opponent and landed a combination of kicks and punches before finishing the job with a brutal knee to the liver. It was a perfect performance. A year later, Ghazali battled a significantly bigger opponent in the form of Putra Abdullah, the first few minutes of their fight saw multiple clinch battles, since Ghazali struggled to close the distance with Putra, who had a significant length and reach advantage. In round two, Ghazali put his opponent on the back foot by throwing heat in the form of punches and bunches. As Ghazali grew more and more aggressive, Putra struggled to cope with a tiny battle tank and took several big shots to the chin before eventually clinching to tame the beast. Ghazali wouldn't stop, though. Every time the referee separated the two, Jojo would come guns blazing and tag his opponents with brutal punches and mean kicks, ultimately winning the fight by a comfortable decision. As Ghazali continued to wreak havoc in Muay Thai, his competition grew tougher, and in 2022, he faced Maliki Singha Hitam, where chaos ensued. The fight started slowly, but picked up pace after each of their hits was cheered on by the charged crowd at the arena. Feeding off the crowd's energy, both fighters hammered each other with venomous rights and thunderous lefts. Ghazali had more success in close quarters thanks to his aggression and power throughout their battle. He pushed his opponent onto the ropes to hit him with haymakers. Late in the fight, Ghazali left his opponent frozen with a big right hand but he survived the 10 count. As soon as the fight resumed, Ghazali set his foe out of the ropes again with massive punches, but the referee refused to stop the fight, even though it was clear that Maliki Singha hit him was done. Moments later, water bottles started to fly in the ring as the hometown hero made his way back to his feet, although he was still on rubber legs. The fight was later ruled a no result. 
After a chaotic end to his fight against Maliki Singhai Hitam, Ghazali locked horns with Kaukara Tsor Tienfo. Early in the first round, the fight was slow and steady compared to Ghazali's previous bouts, as he battled Kaukarat at range with front kicks and jabs. Later in the first round, Ghazali upped the ante by letting his combinations go. Ghazali came out guns blazing in round two, firing off combinations and forcing his opponent into initiating a clinch. He kept his foot on the gas pedal and tagged his opponent time and again. Round three saw Kaukarat get comfortable in there with the young beast. Though Ghazali continued to press forward like a hunter, Kaukarat countered with precise punches and mean low and front kicks. Round five was the same as round four, and after 15 minutes of relentless back and forth battle, Kaukarat was declared the winner by a decision. Despite the setback, Jojo continued to march forward, refusing to lose sight of his goals. Just 18 days later after his defeat at the hands of Kaukarat, Ghazali returned to the ring with a chip on his shoulder. The Malaysian star started the fight by touching his opponents and downloading information, and gradually he started to up the ante by pressing his opponent against the ropes and battering him with punches, kicks, and knees in the clinch. Though round one was slow, Ghazali produced the better moments before taking things up a notch by battering his opponent against the ropes. As punches and kicks started to flow, Ghazali grew in confidence and battered his opponent by hammering him with violent shots. Late in the second round, Jojo dropped his rival with a crushing elbow, but he beat the 10 count. As soon as he got up, however, Jojo added him to his list of vanquished foes with another thunderous elbow that sent the Muay Thai star's rival to the canvas once again. Only this time, he failed to make his way back up. After garnering a significant amount of success across Malaysia and Thailand, Jojo Ghazali signed with the biggest Asian martial arts promotion, One Championship, making his debut against Padetsuk, a key member of the acclaimed Fairtex Gym in Thailand. Jojo started the fight with a mean body kick that Fairtex caught, before launching a few earth-shattering haymakers. But the youngster shocked the world by melting his opponent with a left and right hook combo from the pits of hell. 16 seconds. That's all he needed to make a strong first impression in one of the toughest Muay Thai divisions in the promotion, the 125-pound weight class. The young Muay Thai prodigy couldn't have asked for a better start to his career, and in his second promotional fight, he took things up a notch when he fought another Muay Thai sensation, Tai So. The fight between the two sluggers was an absolute barn buster, and they set the house on fire with their fists of fury. In the first round, Jojo put his aggressive and violent style on display while charging forward and swinging his arms as hard as he could. Tai so fought fire with fire and connected with bombs as well. Midway through the first round, the two traded kicks at a distance before going back to swing punches in the pocket. The second round was just as violent, if not better, as Jojo swung for the fences and so did Tai Sor, who fought on the back foot throughout. The thudding sound of their strikes was heard all around the arena and beyond. The firefight continued in round three, with Jojo pressing his opponent against the ropes and the Thai star consistently taunting the 16-year-old Muay Thai sensation. Halfway through round three, Thai Saw paid heavily for his taunts with a blistering left and right hand combination that sent him crashing to the canvas. Since the Thai fighter failed to regain his senses, the referee waved the fight off declaring Jojo the winner. The Malaysian-American prospect's victory over Tai Sor turned him into an overnight star, with many fans comparing him to the great Radtangjit Mungna. A couple months later, Ghazali locked horns with Samurai Siopal. Ghazali started the fight in a typical fashion, moving forward with reckless abandon and attacking his opponent with ballistic rights and nuclear lefts. 
At distance, the teenager picked Samurai apart with kicks to the legs and body. And though Samurai had a few months in the first round as well, he was on the ropes throughout as Ghazali dictated the fight. In round two, Ghazali continued to display his insane cardio and pace by throwing bombs non-stop and pushing Samurai against the ropes. If Samurai landed one shot, Ghazali responded with five and marched forward like a battle tank, firing off missiles to destroy the enemy. Ghazali started round three from where he left in round two, dancing to the tune of violence and putting a striking clinic on his hopeless opponent. Whose only way to victory was a Hail Mary in the Super Bowl. But Ghazali's iron chin was too strong to be cracked. Ultimately, Ghazali won by a unanimous decision to improve to 3 0 in one championship. A few months later, Ghazali battled Temerlan Bekmuzayev. As the first bell chimed, Temerlan fearlessly faced the youthful vigor of his opponent, establishing a rhythmic onslaught of punches. Both men tagged each other with big shots as a firefight ensued. The crowd was pumped since they were witnessing a battle of will and skill between two highly skilled technicians. In the second round, however, Jojo took charge of the fight with his pace, power, and aggression seized control. Walking his opponent down and punishing him with wild flurries. Late in the third round, a well-executed combo to the chin followed by a left to the body sent Temerlan to his knees. And the Russian never recovered, forcing the referee to wave the fight off. With the win, not only did Johan claim an additional 350,000 baht or $10,000 bonus, but also received one championship's six-figure contract valued at $100,000, becoming the youngest fighter in one championship to achieve the feat. After taking out another tough opponent, Ghazali battled veteran Edgar Tabarez. The young gun fired off with a head and body combination early and pressed the action, forcing Tabarez to counter. The Mexican countered with a few nice left kicks, but another head and body combination forced him into a fetal position on the mat. The fight was over in just 36 seconds. At only 17 years old, Jojo Ghazali has established himself as a force to be reckoned with in one championship's Muay Thai divisions. Nevertheless, he acknowledges the challenging path that lies ahead among the elite and he's determined to demonstrate that he rightfully belongs at that level. The youngster is vastly talented. He's a ferocious striker with fists of fury and a rod tang like aggression that is capable of melting even the sturdiest of icebergs. The Malaysian-American wonder kid still has a long way to go, and if he continues to leave a trail of bodies in his wake, then the sky is truly the limit for him. How far will Johan Jojo Ghazali go in one championship? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.